Yo, what up, you guys? I'm gonna show you guys how to make somewhat of a solar eclipse. Of course, I did plastic wrap on this, and I made it, you know, a little more. I, I sort of look like a droplet effect, you know. It's a tour that I'm gonna remake later that I had before. Sorry for my mic. I had the worst mic in the world. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a solar eclipse, you know, with, like, you know, like this. With that, but you don't have to have this little sort of strong ripples, sort of, um... Sort of like this. All right. Um, I'll accident. We don't need it. We don't need it. What I'm trying to do is create a new one. I usually do 800 by 800. That's just because I'm used to that, and it's a perfect square for me. I don't have to deal with everything. Um, I'll make it a little bigger so you can see like the outside of it. What you want to do first is Control I to invert the color to make it black. I don't know if you could dye it black or what do you call it? You know, make it black. I don't know. Ow, fucker. I never tried. Sorry, that was my elbow. I just totally cracked it, and that hurt. Um, anyways, but make a new layer, and then you're going to want to create a new circle. And what you want to do is hold Control, I think Command for Mac, or, I mean, Shift, sorry. And it'll make it a perfect circle, you know, so you don't you don't mess up on anything. And, you know, you want to center it, of course. And then make sure you follow along, because you're going to want to grab the paint tool. Oops, wrong one paint tool, get it white, you click X to make it white if you know you've never changed it, make it white, and you can change fill to about 0%, you know, you want it 0%, you don't want anything else, <sighs> and then go back, I'm just going to switch everything around, whoops, and then, um, then you're going to want to add the, you know, the effects of the, sort of like a solar eclipse look, um, you're going to want to go to, you know, blending options for layer 1, or else you could also, I, oops, did not mean to lock it. Back click it, I believe, and go to blending options. Then first you want to do is outer glow. You want to change this to maybe around 9 or 10. I'm just doing it for my old video. And then the second part, which is size, to I put in my old video 57. So I'm just going to do 57. And the inner glow, you just change the size to, I believe, I put in my other video 34. Yeah, tricky. And you're gonna want to merge the layers. Hold Shift, click both of them, and then Control E to merge them. And b I believe Mac is like Command E, probably. I don't know. I don't know Max. And then of course, double click it, make it a normal layer, and don't have that little lock on it, and call it Background. Then you're gonna want to create another new layer. Drag it below this time, and then you're gonna want to quickly deselect Control D, I believe. Yes, Control D. Deselect, or else you will mess up. And then what you want to do is add a masking, um, you know, layer thing. And then you're going to want to go back to the paint bucket and change it to the gradient tool. And make it, which is default, white to black. Make it black to white, which I already have it. And then make sure layer 1 that you already created, you want to quickly dye that. I forgot that part. Dye it black for the background. And then after you do that, you go to the gradient tool, do that. And you're going to want to you know click about down here somewhere I usually do around between the bottom right to the almost the middle almost I want to do around there and it'll fade it if you see and plus because the background the layer one is black so it will have black instead of checkered patterned so if you have that you're gonna want to dye the background black and then after you get it to how you want it I don't know how I'm gonna want it you can make it strong or not, you know, it doesn't matter. You're going to want to merge the layers again. Select them both, Control E or Command E, whatever Mac is. And then to edit the color, because you don't do that in the beginning, you don't you don't want to do that, you go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, or Control U, or Command U, I think. I'll just do that so you guys see. And then I'll just do some, like, a blue color. I don't know, I'm colorblind, this might be purple, I don't know. I just think it's blue, so make fun of me all you want, but I don't know, I have no clue, and then click OK, then you're going to want to go to filter, um, oops, uh, render I believe, yes, lens flare, make sure you click it right on the little rim up there, like right on the sh most like shiniest part, so the non-shiny part, the faded out area is where this little, what do you call it, reflection light is, so you know, it looks sort of like sort of realistic, I guess you want to say. And if you see here, 
you can be done. This is considered, you know, the eclipse image that you're making. But you could also go to the image adjustments and hue saturation or control U. And you could also change it around a little bit if you want a little, like, psychedelic, I don't know what the fuck you want to call it. You know, like a, I don't know, whatever you guys want. You know, it's not like I own you. You know, that'd be nice because I need someone to, like, you know, wash my clothes and make me dinner. But, uh, yeah. But you're going to want to change hue, probably just hue, around until you find something sort of cool. Uh, I'm just going to go through it so you guys can see. I don't know if it's skippy when I record it, but my computer's sure not skippy. That sort of looks cool, a reddish thing. Shiny green. Alright, that does not look blue. That looks blue. I don't know. I'm colorblind, so I can't tell. And you could do that. And also, what I did on my other video, you're, you're done, but you could also, if you want to, go to artistic and plastic wrap. Um, sort of give it like a droplet effect that's what my other video is going to be about sort of a droplet one I found which sort of looks I guess you could say pretty cool you use lens flare and then plastic wrap to make it look like a droplet effect you know because if you see it looks like water droplets if you're that dumb all around here and this is the solar eclipse um, and I believe it is probably one of the easiest ones to do. Easiest that I know, at least. And I hope you guys find it easy. I'll write all the tutorial on the side, you know, then more info. Um, so you all could do, you know, like, look at that and get, uh, read it. If you don't, if you're not good with following along in the videos, which is sort of be sad, you could also read it. And if you want to steal it, make your own video. Just copy and paste that, you know, and just do your own video. Because there's a lot of people who seem to do that. Alright everybody, I hope this helps you guys with Photoshop CS4 or CS3. Alright, peace out.